Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha with Ice Cream Fitness here. Alright, I am well known as a science guy and I love to get into the finer details and complex debates about sports science, exercise science, nutritional science, and all of these topics. But one of the things I've noticed is that I get a lot of subscribers out of my new subscribers and people who ask me questions on forums like bodybuilding.com where I post every day a lot of people asking questions about these advanced methods and advanced techniques are people who really shouldn't be concerned with these things. They're not advanced bodybuilders or not advanced powerlifters. And so I want to just briefly cover today just a quick talk about sticking to the basics. But hold on, let me give you guys a tricep shot first. All right, first of all, if you are at a point in your development to where you can't bench 225 for five or six reps with a proper pause on your chest, or you can't squat 315 for five or six reps to proper competition depth, and you don't have at least 15 inch arms yet, you really, really should not be focused on anything but the basics. And you should not be seeing any stalls whatsoever. You, you shouldn't be plateauing at all. You should be able to reach those goals in a linear fashion over the course of, a, of no more than two years without ever deviating from very basic information. As far as routines and trainings go, there are dozens of really good routines out there that will fit the criteria that I'm going to give you. If, if you're in those that category I just described, you really and truly have no business deviating away from either a full body program three days a week or something like an upper lower done four days a week. And if you deviate away from that, I can almost assure you that most of the scientific data available says that you will gain less muscle mass. Deviating away from these sort of programs are the exclusive domain of advanced bodybuilders and advanced powerlifters. And you will actually make slower progress deviating away from this than you will by sticking to this. So by doing so, you're actually hurting your progress. You can still make progress, but it's going to be a lot slower. And your programs need to be geared around progressive overload, increasing performance. You need to be focusing on heavy barbell work, heavy compound movements, and you need to be focused on progression, meaning consistently either adding weight to the bar or adding reps with the same amount of weight. You don't need to be doing two or three different isolation movements for any given body part. At most, a body part should have one isolation movement, if that. You shouldn't need flies to develop your chest. If you know how to bench press correctly and you're mastering these basic movements correctly and you know how to do them, you shouldn't need very many isolation movements. You should be able to develop things like your chest all with compound movements. And take me, for example, I don't do any isolation work for my chest. I don't have to because I bench press all the time and I know how to bench press and floor press correctly. Therefore, that eliminates the need for an isolation movement for something like the chest, which should be relatively easy to develop. And it's the same with nutrition. You don't need to worry about things like, should I eat three meals a day, six meals a day? Do I need a post-workout recovery shake? Should I be trying this newest supplement? For novice individuals, these sort of things are completely irrelevant and they're probably not even going to make a full pound of muscle difference over the course of the next year for you. You're wasting your time with these. You need to be focused on, am I getting enough protein to meet my needs? Am I getting enough dietary fat to absorb all of my vitamins and for my body to produce all of its hormones and testosterone that it needs? Am I getting enough carbs to fuel my workout? Am I eating in a small, consistent caloric surplus when I want to gain muscle? Am I eating in a deficit when I want to lose fat? These are the things that you need to be focused on, the basics. And when you deviate away from these things and you start obsessing over the things that are going to very, very minimally impact your physique, that's when you start seeing wheel spinning. That's when you see guys stall for months on end who are actually relatively unadvanced and shouldn't be seeing stalls at all. So stick to the basics, guys, and leave a lot of the advanced topics as far as trying this stuff yourself. Leave it for more advanced lifters or just listen to it, learn about it for when you are more advanced. But to realize that it's not necessarily going to help you to know this stuff and to implement a lot of it may actually hinder your progress. All right, guys, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative. But hold on, let me give you guys a bicep shot first.
I'll talk to you guys next time.